All right, types of communication. So the delivery of healthcare, which is what I'll be doing as a future podiatrist, is assisted by effective communication, obviously, determining the overall health outcome. So either good, bad, positive, negative. There's essentially affiliative and dominant communication styles, which is what I came across. Affiliative is defined by the inclination of clinicians, myself as a podiatrist, to strive for positive outcomes, so good outcomes. And the dominant contrast with this, obviously, negative outcomes. So assertive communication types fall under the affiliative style, whilst aggressiveness, passiveness, submissiveness and manipulation fall under the dominant style. In my field, podiatry, knowledge of this will enable me to better exert myself and obtain the best possible outcomes for my clients. Effective affiliative communication, verbally and non-verbally, is said to have greater patient satisfaction and therefore greater health outcomes. And therefore, there will be less room for error and malpractice. So this academic article has assisted my knowledge in relation to communication styles and types, enabling me to comprehend the difference between affiliative styles, which strive for positive outcomes, and dominant styles, which strive, not strive, but result in negative outcomes. Affiliative communication leads to positive outcomes. And myself, as a future podiatrist, that's what I will be striving for. And that's what this article has told me.